Hey everyone, I want to talk to you a little bit about life after the crisis. For those of you who have gone through a natural disaster or any type of uh, unique health situation, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Whether it be a hurricane survivor, a uh, survivor from a tornado, uh, or even something as devastating as 9-11. Anytime there is a crisis event that happens, invariably how you act after that is going to be drastically different. In most cases, if it's a local phenomenon, like if you're in Katrina and it's New Orleans or Miami, um, for after Hurricane Andrew and so forth, or even something, you know, on that particular level, how you maneuver in that area is going to be very different after a devastating storm. Or even, let's even think about it from a 9-11 standpoint. There is, there is a segment of our population who probably don't know. If you were born after uh, 2001, 9-11-2001, you don't know a world where you could actually walk up to the gate at an airport. I'm old enough, I'm 50 years old, so I'm, 50, I'm old enough to remember a time where you literally could walk up to the gate with your uh, loved ones to see them fly off. Now, TSA is a normal phenomenon. Most people, you don't get that close. Even in the smaller regional airports, you don't get that. So what, let, why am I sharing this with you? Because I need you to understand now that if we're gonna be in this thing possibly through the summer, when we come out on the other side, we're going to be doing things differently. So during this time period, as you're trying to adjust, and trust me, I understand right now you're not thinking about the other side. You're thinking about trying to stay healthy. You're thinking about how your money is gonna be right. You're thinking about trying to not get sick. You're thinking about your food. You're thinking about all those things right now. And you should be thinking about those things right now. But what I also want you to think about is what are we going to look like as a nation as a world on the other side of this crisis. So as you're going through this, what you're gonna find is a couple of things. So I wanna take a moment to share those things with you. Once the crisis has passed, take a moment to breathe. I've had the opportunity to live through a couple of hurricanes and I can tell you that once the storm passes, there's just this moment of emotional exhaustion that comes over you because you've now, okay, we can now kind of go back to some semblance of normal life. But technically, you're not really normal because you're now living a different existence than you had before. So I say that to say, once you find yourself on the other side of this, things are going to be drastic. If you're not, if you've been out of work for a while, you're trying to live on unemployment, if you're not working, maybe getting money from a stimulus, whatever the case may be, you're trying to get your life back in order or you're trying to adjust to this reality, take a moment and breathe. During the crisis, recognize how you do things is going to change, so evaluate how you're going to change. I was telling one of my colleagues the other day, I, actually yesterday, that I said, if we weren't a virtual society or an online society before, we're definitely going to be in now. Now, does that mean a lot of the things that we normally do is going to go away? Hotels? No. Airplanes? No. You know, think clubs? No. Movies? No. But what's going to happen is people are going to truly see what it means to live in an online environment. People are starting to do it more so now, whether it be getting something like Freshly or HelloFresh in terms of pre-made meals, using the variety of different services for grocery shopping. We didn't even talk about Amazon Prime for things like toilet paper and things like that. You need to evaluate going forward what you're need, you know, what it is that you're gonna go going forward. What you're also gonna to need to evaluate is the skills and the services that you provide. Because think about it like this. Here's a situation where before this happened, if you worked in a job that required you to interact with people on a regular basis, or maybe just worked on a job that required you to you that was basically an unskilled type of job where you basically just had to do certain things, you may find yourself in a devastating situation if you realize that, that those jobs aren't available to you during these type of situations. Now don't get me wrong. All things considered, I'm hoping this is just a once in a lifetime thing, which I think it is, and it probably will be. But what you need to start asking yourself is this. When you're evaluating, what do I need to do in terms of expanding my skill set so that I'm never in a situation where if my ability to use a skill set is cut off, that I have no ability to support myself? 
figure out your new normal. I cannot say this enough that when we come out of this, we are going to be facing a new reality. And that new reality is that the way we've been doing things before is not going to be sustainable during this entire period of time. So what's going to happen is that when you come out of this, like I said before about 9-11, the new normal was TSA. The new normal is that you no longer could go all the way up to the gate and stuff with, lo with loved ones. That was your new normal. We adjusted to it. Now, mind you, it took a coming back because initially when this happened, we had guards out there. We had National Guard people with uh, mirrors looking underneath your car and a sniper sitting there just in case somebody jumped off. But once those things kind of throttled back, we never completely reverted back to the way we were before. And that may mean your new normal, maybe you may realize by the time this is done, shopping for groceries online is a much more efficient way of getting things done. You save gas, you save time, you keep track of stuff at your house and you just basically up, take care of it accordingly. You start realizing really quickly what specific things you like. So then all of a sudden you say, okay, I wanna get this particular type of chicken from this particular type of company because I know the quality of their food. I wanna get this type of toilet paper because I know the kind of quality it is. You're gonna find out very quickly what your new normal is and adjust to it accordingly. Which brings me to my last point. We will all adjust. Let's be clear. Every time something happens, we adjust. We are an adaptable society. So don't sit here and beat yourself up and be like, what am I gonna do about Trust. We will and you will adapt. Roll with it. People, this is a scary time. We don't know who has what and what they may possibly give to us. But I do know this, we are and have always been a resilient people. We're gonna survive this and move beyond. Just know that we're gonna be in a whole different place when this is all said and done. And just start using this time as a time to prepare yourself for what that looks like.